Hey Mega fans, welcome back to the channel. This is Canvel Joe and today we will be doing a painting for this clear Michaelis version, a bootleg. And this will be a semi-weathered finish. As you can see, this is how it turns out after painting it. In this process, I will be using mostly airbrush to achieve the finish that you see on the build. But I will not be using a hobby grade paint. I Instead, I will be using Bosni spray can paints. Now for those interested, I will be posting a link below on how to extract your paint from the can. I did not do any special preparation for these clear parts. Instead, I just wipe it with alcohol. And then I will be doing primer using the Bosni primer here. After doing the primer, I let the parts dry under the sun. I will be using satin black here underneath the actual beam bracer weapon part. I already did prime the violet clear parts color as you could see on this clip. The next step will be using a Bosni 40 white with a mix of khaki uh, for the actual finish color. We will be doing some spots here and there for the actual semi weathered build finish. And this is all the parts painted in white. We will be painting the rest of the violet clear colors with the primer and same process will be done. This will be dried under the sun and then we will be doing a white paint. Uh, spots like in the clear color bits and after painting all the parts that is in purple we will now be using this number seven Yamaha purple be advised that Yamaha purple is a clear color this will retain any shading that you have on your kit prior to the color itself and just a side note i already did paint this one with a metallic silver the part of the head and then we will be using again the yamaha clear purple Now I find the finish too glossy so what I will do is I will do a misting process to actually kill the glossy part finish here as you can see on the comparison. And here they are the painted purple parts. Now we move on to the inner frame painting. I'm so sorry I did not post the actual spray can that I used for the inner frame, but I did use mixture of 60% Yanmar bronze and 10% of satin black. I pan aligned again the parts to make the details pop. For those who are curious, I am using by the way a uni pin marker which is a cheap alternative 
instead of using a Gundam marker. Let's do a bit of masking and painting on the actual joint parts here for the shoulder and the legs. First off, we will be painting this one with metallic silver. And while waiting for that to dry, we will be doing some masking for the other parts like here in the legs. Then we will be painting this one with a Bosni number 303 Kaki. And same like before, we will be doing some spot painting to actually retain the actual dark color on the edges. And on this uh, metallic silver part on the joints, we will now continue by painting this one with the Yamaha purple. Let's unmask and see how it looks like. After assembling the kit, the next step we will be doing is putting details on the beam saber FX part by using these two colors, the metallic silver and the Nico metallic sunset color. And since this model kit comes with a water slide decals, let's add it on the final build. I only apply the major decals that is needed on this model kit and we still have a lot of leftovers which you could use for another Michaelis model kit. And here are some poses that I did for the final video. Thank you for reaching this far. If you like this kind of contents, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. For any questions, comments, or suggestions, Feel free to post them below and thank you for watching and see you on the next video.